Hey folks, how are you? This is Ant Kovacevic from Worldwide Boat Brokers and uh, we're on board today the Turncraft. It's anchored here in the Marucci River and I'm very lucky to be part of a personal interview with the owner here, Pete McLeod. This vessel, um, tell me a bit about it. Well, um, where do I start? It's a 63 footer, 20 foot wide, long range power cat. Now tell me one of the, some of the features that stand out from this to other vessels? Well, it's long range. Uh, we've got 4,000 litres of fuel on board, 1,000 litres of water, water makers and all the standard sort of stuff. We've also got uh, lightning strike poles. Wow. Which is pretty much un, un, very unique. It's six and a half metre fiberglass poles mounted up the back with a solid copper tip. It runs a solid copper wire straight through the boat to a, an isolating block of solid copper, 14 inches by four inches by an inch thick on either side. So wow. theoretically, get struck by lightning, it'll just ground out and no hole in the bottom of the boat. Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. which is a bit different than a lot of boats. Yeah. Plus, uh, we've got a proper relaxed game fishing chair. Right. Which, if you go into the Kimberleys or whatever, mate, ideal. It sits out the back of the boat and you're just looking at the water. And we've got all the poles and all the bells and whistles that go with it. So the boat's pretty uh, self-sufficient? Oh, very, very. Uh, we've got a water maker, uh, makes 80 litres of water an hour. Got solar panels on the roof, running through an inverter charger system, generates its own power. Plus we've got an 8 kVA generator if you need to top the batteries up at any stage. And if you're just motoring, uh, the motors themselves will charge your batteries. Systems are all interlocked. If I go away from the boat for a week, don't have to worry about charging batteries because the solar power keeps it all charged. And oh, that's, that's great. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So you could go away endlessly, like yeah, endlessly, live off the grid. If you're taking it to the Kimberleys, which is on the bucket list, uh, it'd be ideal. My bucket list too. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, <laughs> With let's, most let's go. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now tell us a bit about the draft. You said something about uh, yeah, very, very shallow draft. Um, it only draws about 600 mil. What? Well, yep, 600 mil, which wow. is, is not much, but the boat is all aluminium. Right. So even if you did happen to run onto a sandbar, it's really not going to hurt anything. Yeah. It's got a skeg, which will protect your props anyway. So it's ideal for getting into the back blocks and playing around a bit. So you've had some good parties on board as well? Yeah, we have, matter of fact. Yeah, we've yeah, been whale watching a, a few times. Um, just on the flybridge here, we, we can seat 25 people. On, on the flight, 25 on the flight, which are fantastic. Yeah, look, it's massive. And that's quite easy, plus you can seat another 20 people yeah. down the back, plus you've got all inside the boat and out the front. And it's very really open space, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that was the idea of it. The wife wanted open space. And all these clears come down but to protect you as well, yeah. mate. Yeah, you can drop the whole lot down if you want to. Uh, even all the, the canvas is all uh, the latest technologies. There's even a spot in the canvas there to get up onto the, the roof if you want to, which get up once in a while and wipe your solar panels down. We've pretty much thought of everything, even the upholstery, the latest fabrics, but the foam is one that uh, water doesn't get absorbed into it. Right. So it doesn't matter if it gets saturated, it just doesn't, it, well, it doesn't get saturated. Right. You just give it a wipe down and away you go. That's really yeah. good. Well, thank you so much for that uh, uh, interview. Yeah, um, no worries. So for more information, come to uh, worldwideboatbrokers.com.au and uh, we'll catch you next time.